private parking is big business. There are independently run sites all over the country, and some of the firms running them are making millions of pounds. An investigation by which has found the number of drivers being fined by these companies is on the rise, and so are the number of people appealing them. This is dashcam footage from one which member's car. It records a journey Ruth Hadfield regularly makes to Manchester from her Oxfordshire home and back. Without this video, along with data from a tracking device, this quick pit stop could have led to a charge of almost £150. When I do that trip, I always stop at Norton Kane services on the M6 Tell. I stopped on the way up as normal, um, went round Manchester, stayed up there for a little while, and then came back again, stopping at Norton Kane's on the way back. About 10 days later, I received in the post a parking sign and they said I had stayed at Norton Keynes for almost eight hours and they presented a photograph of the front of my vehicle entering the service station when I was on my way up northbound and of it exiting after my second visit much later that day. I have a quite a sophisticated tracking device on my car. From the moment I switch the engine on to when I turn it off. It tracks exactly where I am and I pulled off a report for that day. Also, I have a dash cam in my car that I could also prove visually exactly where I was then. I was very annoyed because about 12 days later, I got a further email saying that um, you know, they, they had looked into it and had decided that no charges could be forthcoming with all of that. At which we found motorists are often unclear about car parking rules. We've heard from drivers caught out by faulty meters, not realizing they had to validate their ticket, and blue badge holders unaware the scheme isn't always recognized by private firms. I parked for a weekend in Bath, paid by card at the machine, but I didn't realize the machine didn't connect to take the payment, and it had issued a void ticket. It was dark. When I returned three days later, I'd been ticketed. I didn't realise that I had to leave my car details at the hotel reception. I parked in a disabled space with my blue badge, but it was a private disabled space. One in five which members we've surveyed has had a parking charge in the last two years, and many appealed successfully. With the right advice, you have a good chance of not having to pay if you think it's unfair. Under law, you should receive the parking charge notice within 14 days after the alleged contravention. If you don't, then you could look to appeal it as a defective notice. If you believe that they've made an error and you have complied with the terms and conditions, you must appeal within 14 days back to the parking company that issued the charge. If the appeal is rejected by the parking charge company, then you have the right to go to an independent adjudicator. They'll look at the terms and conditions, they'll look at the evidence that you've produced, they'll look at the evidence given by the parking charge company, and they'll make a decision. If you make a payment to um, a private parking company, it's deemed as full and final settlement that will forfeit any right of appeal. For more expert advice, visit which.co.uk slash parking fines.